Welcome to Who's Laughing Now, brought to you exclusively by Hoosier TV. I got started a long time ago in the 80s uh, in Boston, where I live, I still live, uh, with a lot of people from those days like Stephen Wright and uh, Bobcat Goldthwait and uh, Dennis Leary and all of us started together. There's a movie I think about it called When Stand Up Stood Out and a documentary about those days. Everybody was wild but me. I had family at the time, so. Well, you know, I, I work at nights and weekends, so it's a little different. But, uh, so I'm home during the day. The problem is over the years I have kids and I've been home during the day, I'm not handy. I can't fix stuff. I mean, now my attitude is something breaks, we live with it that way. <laughs> it's broke, honey, we don't have that anymore. <laughs> yeah, I have kids. I have three kids, uh, they're grown now and uh, I've used them throughout the last 30 years. I mean, I mean, and being a parent is a lot harder than being a comedian. And so that's a big part of my life. So it has been in my act all the time. I always say, you know, little things that you don't get credit for being a parent, like toilet training. You ever go to your parents and go, thanks for teaching me how to go to the bathroom. You know, I did a heck of a job. I haven't had an accident in years. I don't want to thank you. No, nah, no. Nah. It's a hard job being a parent. And so I have stuff about when my kids were babies, when they were toddlers, when they were adolescents, mostly when they were teenagers, especially my daughters, lots of stuff about teenagers. I have uh, family observational stuff that I do and uh, other observational stuff. As I got older, I have stuff about being older right now. But a lot of it's family stuff, stuff about my girls when they were teenagers especially, because those are years that you don't forget, you know. Uh, I remember them going around at those period of time singing songs like, do it to me one more time. Do it you one more time? <laughs> no one's going to do it you one time. You're only 13. <laughs> now they're growing and doing fine, so I can laugh about that. But, you know, they're doing good, and uh, I have a lot of stuff about them growing up. And that's my act. I've been living off it for 30 years. Hi, I'm Bill Campbell, comedian, and you are watching Who's Laughing Now on Who's Your TV? Seriously, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are in for a treat. It's going to be a fantastic night of comedy. It is my pleasure to bring your first comedian stage. Please welcome Bill Campbell. Thank you, thank you. It's nice to be here. I'm a family guy. i got three kids. Any parents in this crowd tonight? Oh, look at all of them. They're so happy about it. Anybody got kids under five, little kids? See, now look around. The people with little kids are always the best audience members because they're just happy to be out. Where are you going? I don't know, but I am out. <laughs> Aren't you going to do a thing? Have a thought about just so glad to be out. I know that feeling. But I have three kids, and two of my daughters now are grown. And over the years, I've noticed the parents of little kids are different than parents of older kids. Parents of little kids, they like to brag about the development. You know, he's six months old, he's rolling over. She's a year old. She's walking. He's talking. They're so proud of this. Kids get to be teenagers. Nobody brags about the development. <laughs> Twelve years old, he's got a beard. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> She got the biggest breast in the eighth grade, isn't she something? <laughs> Look at her body in that kid. We're pretty proud of her at home. This is my son, you know, he's only 15, so I'm buying liquor for the neighborhood for the last few years. <laughs> Getting served at all the bars in town. We're so proud. This is my daughter, first on a block to use the birth control. Isn't she something real proud? No. You don't brag about that. My girls are teenagers, those are tough years. They're doing fine now, but when they were teenagers, I couldn't. I mean, they were so self-absorbed. I used to feel like I could be laying there dying and they look at me and go, does this mean I don't get a ride to the mall? <laughs> well, when I'm dead, you could have the car. Well, how long is it gonna take? <laughs> Tell Debbie you'd be there in 10 minutes. I'll die faster. So I got a nice little crowd here. There's some good laughers right in front. Right here, good laugher, and right here. See, so comedians, we like laughers, you know? They laugh out loud, their whole body shakes. Everybody stops laughing, they're still laughing, you know? <laughs> This guy right here is one of them. We love those people. Because <laughs> comedy is contagious. You know, not, not everybody's like that. Some people enjoy the show, they're just not laughers. They look at it, the whole show going. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I am really enjoying myself. <laughs> then laugh! <laughs> the worst to come to comedy shows, they laugh like this. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. Oh, laughter is a great release. I'm so glad y'all came out tonight. It's very similar to crying in many ways. You know, nowadays men cry. I have nothing against that. But let's face it, men don't know how to handle crying like women. My wife says things to me like, you know, Bill, I think I feel the need to cry. You never hear a guy go, you know, Steve, I kind of feel the need to cry. 
And when women cry, they support each other. Oh, Mary, what's the matter? <laughs> they hug each other. A guy cries, we just freak out. Oh my God, Joe's freaking crying. <laughs> it's not my fault, I just started crying. I don't know what the hell to do. I'm not hugging some of a bitch, I'll tell you that right now. No way am I touching him while he's crying. We don't handle it so good. I've been a happy married guy for many years, love my wife, but we have our differences. My wife hates throwing stuff out, so her solution is every summer, Bill, let's have a yard sale. Oh, he's our torture. Here's my definition of a yard sale. Take all the stuff I wish we could throw away, put it on the front lawn, sit with her all day, put it back in the house. <laughs> and what a wonderful day it is. But it's worth it, because it made that extra $30. I hate these things. If that's about my wife likes to do it with the neighbors. Let's have a multi-family yard sale. <laughs> so all the neighbors bring their trash my front lawn. <laughs> we sit with the junk all day long. Then my wife buys stuff from them and we'll put more back in the house. With the <laughs> I lose money and I put more stuff every year. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is some of the people that come to the yard sale. These are the cheapest people on the planet. First of all, they show up at like 5.30, you know. I'm like, early. Yeah, it's 5.30, I want to get here early. You know? How much is that? It's a dollar. I'll give you 50 cents. <laughs> Just take it. Yeah, you cheap bastard, you're gonna have it. You see that woman over there, when she turns her back, take the whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> you're the lucky winner. Oh, but now I'm getting older, you know, I see a few people, my brother's in the crowd here tonight. It's not easy getting older. Pe first of all, people talk to you different. They say things like, you know, you're not as young as you used to be. No, neither you. Nobody is. That's what used to be means. Here's another one like, you're getting up there. You're getting up there. I'm getting up where? Where am I getting? Closer to death? Great. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> My wife used days and whenever I go to buy a big item, like a couch or a bench, I, but we have to go to Goldman. It's probably the last one we're ever going to buy. Great. That makes me want to go. The whole time we're out, I feel like dead man shopping. Why don't we get a real cheap one so I can live longer? How's that? And now they have all these ads on TV for all these sexual things, Viagra, Cialis. The side effects scare the hell out of me. What's that one with a four hour, you know, consult your physician? Oh, no kidding, man. The one that really scares me is to start to lose your sight, stop taking the drug. <laughs> How horny and stupid do they think we are? I can't see it, I'm pretty turned on. Give me two more of those babies. <laughs> I like sex, I don't want to be blind. <laughs> I got some drug for bronchitis, I didn't even know what it was for, some coughing stuff. The side effects are like swollen tongue, swollen throat, trouble passing urine, and severe constipation. I think I'll keep the cough if you don't mind. <laughs> you not only can't go to the bathroom, you, like, you can't talk about it because your tongue's all swollen. <laughs> but the worst to me at my age is the Flomax ads about the guys going to the bathroom and going urgently on the golf course and everything. They give you all the symptoms, starting and stopping. That's a symptom. I'm starting and stopping. I better get the flow max. <laughs> but the one that scares me, don't talk about weak stream. Ever since I see those ads, I go in the men's room and go, guy's got a hell of a stream over there. <laughs> Mine's look a little weak. If I had the flow max, I could shoot that stuff. <laughs> Come on, if it comes out and it don't hurt, I'm happy. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is not a race. One of the taglines is men who want to spend more time having fun and less time in the bathroom. What man isn't like that? No, I can't go play golf. I'd much rather pee all day. You go ahead. I don't love it in the bathroom. Working on my stream. See you later. <laughs> I'm about to go, but next time you see a Flomax at the end, I'm not making this up. They run all these side effects together, and they put these right together. They put these two together. Loss of semen and runny nose. <laughs> put a semicolon. Take a pause. <laughs> Flip it around, but the idea I'm losing something here, out here, I can't handle. That's my time. I'm Bill Campbell. You've been terrific. Thank you. Keep it going for Bill Campbell. Thanks for watching Who's Laughing Now, brought to you exclusively by Hoosier TV.